Gardens, I've chosen the West House from Biddington in Kent. How are you? Hello, nice to see you. No, good to see you too. Right, where is he? Beaver away in the kitchen. Hi, girl. <laughs> good to see you. And you? I met Graham 15 years ago when he worked next door to my first London restaurant. Even then, he showed real flair. The idea is to um, build dishes around the central ingredient and, you know, not fan your own with it too much, not chuck too many other things on the plate and try and enhance, you know, bring out the flavours. Graham hasn't always been a chef. He started out as a drummer for 80s hair rockers, Ya Ya. No, I've never heard of them either. He still has some of the hair, but happily, not the shorts. Luckily, I've done that for a long time. Various tours and albums and all sorts. And got to see the world and eat in a lot of restaurants as well, which is quite good. Mm -hmm. 17 years ago, Graham gave up rock and roll to follow his dream of becoming a chef, working in a string of top London restaurants. Then, eight years ago, he took a huge risk. He moved his family to the Kent countryside and opened up the West House. 18 months after opening, he won his first mission star. That's not bad for a drummer. And when you won the mission star, were you on your own in the yeah. kitchen? Wow, so it is a one-man band back to yeah. play the drums again. Everything about this family restaurant is understated old English charm. Graham's partner, Jackie, works front of house with their children, Jake and Jess. Who's in charge? It'll be me. Yeah. <laughs> Happy being in charge? Uh, yeah. yeah. That means I a polite be, no. Yeah. <laughs> At the beginning, I didn't know what I was doing, and uh, now, eight years on, it, it's not as bad as it was, but I didn't like it at first, no. I'll start off with the ham and eggs. It's very, uh, it's very clean, really nice flavours. Popular on the menu? Yeah, yeah, very. I can imagine why. What I like most about West House is the fact that Graham is a, is a true chef. He cooks from the heart, not into frills, he's into flavour, and it shows. This quaint English restaurant is about to be severely tested because my diners will soon be arriving and ordering all at the same time. My worst fear is you're going to suck, basically. <laughs> I'm just expecting the whole family to put in an amazing performance today to pull this one off. Just like the Milestone, they have just two hours to serve everyone. This little 11-table restaurant is going to be packed. You have a Michelin star, so myself and my diners are expecting the experience there. This is three and two twos now. As soon as you can, get the first table, yeah? Are you both ready to order? One had it, one lamb and one Three. That looks like air traffic control up there. What is that, <laughs> huh? I'm getting there. I've, I've never seen tickets written like that before. Do they have bread on ten? Fucking what is that there? That's one, one ham hock and one mackerel. Yeah. Jesus Christ. The tickets are confusing, but the food coming out of the kitchen is simply perfect. Starters include warm smoked haddock carpaccio with bacon dressing and pea shoots, and that delicious ham hock with scotch egg and black pudding. How's the um, ham hock in Piccadilly? It's Absolutely really fantastic. Good. You enjoying it? Really it's delicious. Really These are amazing. Yeah, the little scotch eggs with black pudding. Yeah. So, first main course is coming up now, Jake. Griddle's going to be busy today, isn't it? It's going to be a bit, isn't it? So, you're grilling knocking as well. It's the first one for me. I've never seen that before. Just to colour it off, then it gets tossed through with the artichokes. For mains, there's a choice of roast chicken with herb gnocchi. Brill with samphire or lamb with sweetbreads. Three of you in here, no one out there. I'm nervous. Yeah. Are they orders taken? Yeah. Just left there. Yeah. Why would you just dump an order there like that? I'm finding the ordering system impossible to fathom, and Jackie's handwriting is more like a doctor's than a maitre d'. No one can read it. That's no, one hat. One had it. Yeah. I rewrote the ticket out and the, um, Ben picked that up as well and he'd already sent it, it was my fault. I left it on there because it was but he couldn't understand my writing, so it's my fault. Yeah. Uh, today was the fucking day to do it if ever, wasn't it? Okay, table ten, two chicken. What? 